Hello, my name is Niall Meller from Acoustic Frontiers. Acoustic Frontiers is a DEX dealer in the United States. We do ship globally. You can reach us on the web at www.acousticfrontiers.com. Today's video, I'm just going to show you some aspects of the DEX's speaker measurement capabilities. So with the DEX calibration software open, we'll click on the measure speakers button. I'm not going to uh, create any new speaker measurements today. I'm just going to load some that I've already done. So let's go ahead and load one meter on axis for my main speakers and a measurement for my subwoofers. So now what you see is I have a measurement window open in the decks with uh, three measurements, that, a measurement from the woofer which is in blue, a measurement for the tweeter in green, and the measurement for my subwoofer in red. Some of the controls I have available to me are the smoothing control, so I can smooth the frequency response charts by selecting 100% smoothing, it gives you a much, uh, much clearer view on the actual trends, whereas 0% smoothing is good for finding individual resonant peaks or other issues in the frequency response that need to be addressed. It's also possible to view the information collected by the DEX in a multiple different dimensions. So we're looking at the frequency response. We also can view information in terms of group delay. Group delay is how much a, a group of frequencies are delayed behind others. We can also look at the impulse response, also called the time window. We can look at the step response, which is a variation of uh, an impulse response measurement. And we can also look at the phase characteristics too. In today's video, I've just shown you very quickly how we can use the DEX's measurement capability to analyze different, different types of acoustic measurements, look at them in a number of different dimensions. You can reach me on the web at Acoustic Frontiers, www.acousticfrontiers.com. My name is Niall Meller. Thank you for watching the video.